Hey there, so here is the do-it-yourself magic mirror shield kit that goes with the software and I just want to show you how to hook up the sensors. So there's a few different wiring options. Um, the more advanced one is if you're doing an installation over Cat5 wiring, you can use these. And it's got the pinouts right there, but that's a bit more complicated. We're just going to do standard plug and play Grove sensors. Um, very easy to do. So um, let's do it. So the first sensor I'm going to plug in is a touch sensor. And this is going to go into this one right here, which if you see it, it says touch one. This is actually a pre-production board. So the board you'll get will say touch one weather, which basically means that is the sensor that is going to read the weather forecast for you. So that is weather. The next one is money. Money means stocks or Bitcoin. So this one says touch three or sorry touch two but the board you'll have will say touch two money so also let's plug in a touch sensor there these these sensors you can get by the way from seed studio seedstudio.com um, you can also plug in i could have plugged in instead of the touch sensor just a standard push button as well that also would work and then the last one this this can actually do um, either just plays or, or some videos or it can do X10 control. So let's plug this one in. Again, that's also touch sensor. So those, we have it. Now let's hook up the, uh, if you wanna do the breathalyzer feature, which is kind of fun for parties, it's a novelty breathalyzer, not a real one. So this switch will trigger the breathalyzer. That's just a push button. And then we need the alcohol sensor that will actually test for the alcohol. So that's what that looks like. Let's go ahead and plug that one in there. And this, by the way, is a potentiometer. This comes already soldered on the board. This is used to change the characters. There's four different characters that comes with the project. And then lastly, there's also, and this is optional, a proximity sensor, which is this. So we support two kinds of um, proximity sensors. This is the Sharp IR long range sensor. This is based on um, infrared. The better one to get actually, it's a little more work to wire it, is the Maxbotix sonar sensor, which you'll find a link to on our website. Um, that one's a little bit more accurate, but this one also works too. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So that is the um, IR sensor. And then last one is a toggle switch for the photo booth. So the toggle switch, um, you could use any switch that's a toggle switch. This is a, just a standard on off switch. It's got two connections. This is another toggle switch. It actually has three connections, but we only use two. So either one of these styles will work. I'm just gonna use this one for now. So for this guy, I need my screwdriver. So let me sit down. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one end of this and one end is gonna go to five volts, which you can see over here. And then the other end is gonna go to switch four, which is pin number nine, which is right here. So let me, let me zoom in here. Let me do that right now. And so I'm just going to take this little screw terminal, unscrew there, and then I want number nine as well. Okay, and it doesn't matter which which one uh, goes to which one. I could have taken this red one and put it over there too. It's not um, either is fine. Let's do the same for this guy. All right, you got a little bit, we're good. So there you have it. This is our um, shield kit with all of the connectors plugged into it. Um, the only one that we didn't do was this one so if you wanted your installation to have this character select potentiometer external and have that kind of go somewhere else and maybe mount it then you could have plugged a grove potentiometer into here and then i just would have had to put this toggle switch down to external pot instead of internal pot so that's the only one we didn't do um, we could have also plugged in what's called an x10 firecracker to this port here 
which is a little X10 um, dongle. You can get those for about $10 off eBay. And that um, there's some home automation X10 control functions in the software that would be enabled if you plugged in that dongle. And then if you're doing um, kind of the more advanced wiring with the Cat5 and you need another five volts and ground, those are exposed on this header pin as well. So that's it. So now let's go ahead and hook this up to our PC and get the software going. So for that, um, pretty straightforward. Just take a micro, let's zoom out here a little bit. Let's take a micro USB cable like this guy. And we'll just go ahead and pop it in here. And then the other end, we're just going to take this and plug it into our PC. So here we go. Pop this guy into any USB port. And you'll notice when I plug in the USB, USB power is going to power everything. So you can see a little light goes on. That tells me I have power. Okay, so now that we've got everything plugged in, Let's go ahead and launch the Magic Mirror Quick Setup program. Now, if we're lucky, our board will be auto-detected. So right now you can see it's searching. And there it says detected. Now that doesn't always happen. So if it's not auto-detected, the first thing you wanna do is make sure your board um, go into device manager and make sure it's on a COM port nine or less. That's the most common problem. And then if that doesn't work, you can try different ports. Sometimes that helps. So um, because we have all of our sensors hooked up here, let's go ahead and turn on the breathalyzer. Let's turn on the weather. Let's turn on money. Let's turn on videos and let's turn on the photo booth. And let's also change our readout to Bitcoin mode. And so in this example, I've got 2.6 Bitcoins and I'm going to say if the um, net gain of those 2.6 Bitcoins was more than $500, play the good video. If it was a $300 or more loss, play the bad video and play the neutral video if it was anything in between. So let's hit save, get, get out of there. And then last thing I want to do before I go into the Magic Mirror program is launch the advanced config program. And I want to turn on this thing called verbose mode. So Hit that as on. And verbose mode is really nice because, let me launch this guy. Um, it, it shows you the values of the sensors, which is really good for troubleshooting because, you know, you never know if you've hooked up everything correctly. Although in this case, it's pretty easy because you can't really screw up. But nonetheless, it is nice to see the, the actual values of the sensors. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this, for example. And that's how I change the character. This green number is actually the sensor values coming in from the proximity sensor. I've got that covered up right now, so we're not gonna worry about that. Um, so let's do a test. Let's go ahead and do the weather. So sweet the hour, so calm the wind, the sun I see and its golden rim. Now let's change the character. And let's do money. I made no treasure comes this way. Yeah. And let's do a generic video. I made a little pirate ya. So brave, so hearty. Okay, so now let's do the breathalyzer. So this is gonna trigger the breathalyzer. And then this, actually let's just run it without any alcohol. So I hit this guy. So here's the alcohol sensor. So we don't have anything close to it. So it says no drinks. Shiver me timbers, me hearty be drinking no booze. And now let's do it again. This is, by the way, a novelty breathalyzer. This is definitely not accurate, so do, do not use it for those purposes, please. Hit it again. Put it next to some whiskey. Have asked you, matey, that be enough for you. Save some for the crew. 
Okay, so now what I want to show you, let me go back into the advanced setup program. I want to show you the Twitter feature. So I'm going to go ahead and turn Twitter on. You would link this to your Twitter account by just hitting this button. And there's a number of options. I can say speak any tweet that shows up in my feed, only tweets that I do, speak at mentions, you can do search terms. So quite a few different features there with Twitter. So let me go ahead and hit save. And let's see, verbose mode is, let's turn that off for now. Let's launch again. Okay, so here we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a tweet. I'm just gonna, and I apologize in advance if there are not Golden State Warriors fans out there. Okay, there's my tweet. And it takes just a few seconds. Go Golden State Warriors, nice win. So that's the Twitter feature. And then of course I can just do normal Custom audio mode. Magic Mirror operations as well. And whenever a new tweet comes in, it'll just interrupt. That's how it works. Let's configure that proximity sensor. This guy. So, oh, sorry, that's not the proximity sensor. This one. This is the proximity sensor. So I'm going to go back into verbose, mo verbose mode. And proximity sensor is on. And right now I have it set to go off when this value is between 400 and 450. Let me show you a visual of what that means. Let's launch again. Let's take off the tape here. Okay, so that green number going is the value of the proximity sensor. So as I move my hand. I matey, a little pirate you are. Be good to your mother, even from afar. If so, hearty. So that's basically how the proximity sensor works. So you just basically calibrate it to how far you want your subject to stand to trigger the video. Look at that number. So again, I'm just playing with about 400. Yo ho, my friend. Hear me tale of treasure, plunder, sea, and save. A pirate's life can't be wrong, so grow up nice and strong. And so that's how that works. Let's go ahead and cover that up so it doesn't go off. Okay, so now I want to show you the photo booth feature. So I'm going to go into the advanced setup program and let's make sure that A, Twitter is off, so we don't want the photo booth being interrupted by a tweet. And let's make sure the photo booth is on, which it is. And then lastly, we want to turn verbose mode from on to off. So let's leave that as off and go ahead and save. Now let's launch. So let's go ahead and change the character. Let's say you're doing a photo booth at a Halloween party, for example. There we go. Okay, so the way the photo booth works is you first go into magic mirror mode. And then when you're ready, you just simply flip the switch. Photo booth. So now I am in photo booth mode. So then you just hit the space bar to start. <laughs> Say cheese. Smile. It may be your last. Nice pictures. Until we meet. Again. <laughs> All right, so that was the uh, photo booth feature. And a um, couple other features are you can actually do a little custom branding. So this logo where it says photo booth in the top left, you can change that to be your own logo. That's possible in the configuration program. Let me just get out and I'll show you where that is. Let's go into the advanced setup program. And over here in the upper left, let's click on photo booth. And so if you want to have it print automatically, so let's say you're running in a kiosk at a party, um, just click enable printing, tell it what kind of paper you have in your printer, if it's four by six or eight, eight and a half by 11, and then it'll print to the default printer you have in portrait mode. Um, you can also print more than one copy if you like. 
Um, if this is checked, it will also save the individual photos to your hard drive in this directory. So that way you can have a whole list of pictures at the end of the party, that's pretty neat. And then you can also, um, if you have the X10 dongle hooked up, it can do lighting control. So basically right before it takes the picture, it turns on the lights. And then after it's done taking pictures, it turns off the lights. So that's uh, if you've got X10. And then lastly, you can also do a custom logo um, if you want to replace the generic photo booth logo with something of your own, just edit that file right there and you can do some custom branding. And then I think the last thing that I didn't mention yet is the text to speech mode. Custom audio mode. And so this will, rather than do the pre recorded things. What a beautiful day. The forecast is sunny with a high of 82 and a low of 55. And you can tell it to say something custom in the configuration program. You look great. Have you lost some weight? So that, that setting you can just type in the configuration program. So that's the text-to-speech mode. I think that's it. So I hope that was helpful. Um, that is the Magic Mirror Shield Kit with the Magic Mirror software.